Hi there, and welcome to PMP exam tips. So let's look at the difference between predictive, hybrid, and agile approaches of managing projects. Now in the PMP exam, you will get a number of questions based on the different approaches. So ensure that you know the difference between them. Firstly, let's look at the predictive approach. Now, this approach is also called the traditional or waterfall or plan-driven approach to managing a project. In this approach, the project requirements and scope are defined in detail early in the project, and detailed management plans are created for the 10 knowledge areas and other aspects of the project. This kind of project also follows the major process groups of the PMBOK. Now, the project manager is the chief in charge of this project and is assisted by a project team that can vary in size depending on the project. The team normally strives to adhere to the approved plan and protect the project from changes by doing comprehensive risk planning and management throughout the project life cycle. Right, now a good example of a predictive approach is the building of a house. This project is normally done in discernible phases, one after the other one, and the requirements and the plans are normally completed and approved by stakeholders before the building uh, of the house or the project execution actually takes place. Now, secondly, the agile approach. Now, this approach can be described as change-driven or adaptive in nature and are normally found in environments with high uncertainty work. Now, with these kinds of projects, the scope cannot really be defined up front, and the project scope emerges as the project is being executed. Now, in this environment, change is real and constant and is part and parcel of how the project teams operate. Work is done in small increments so that the changes can be made easily as information about the needs of the project emerges and the project changes. So the project teams are adaptive and self-managing in nature to manage these complex, high-risk environments. Now, an example of an agile project is the building and development of a website. Now, although the broad concept is normally agreed upfront, and the design, as the design and the coding of the website is done, many changes will be made to the initial design. It can also happen that parts of the website will be released, feedback obtained from customers and clients, and then this, then this will be incorporated into the next release in order to make the product better over time. So there can be actually many iterations of the same website, but each will differ from the previous one and will be an enhanced version actually of the previous iteration. Now, thirdly, the hybrid approach. Now, as the name suggests, this is a combination between the predictive and the agile approaches, where elements of both the plan-driven and change-driven approaches will be incorporated into one project and one project plan. Now, with the rapid development of new technology and the impact thereof on many areas of projects and products, many project organizations are adapting a hybrid approach to projects. Now, the hybrid approach provides a degree of stability in planning the overall project objectives and outcomes, but are adaptable enough to absorb a degree of uncertainty and rapid change as well. Now, as the name suggests, hybrid projects are actually tailor-made projects that can incorporate a number of predictive and agile methodologies and approaches into one project and one project plan. So hopefully the distinction between predictive, agile, and hybrid is now a little bit more clear to you. Also check out our website for all our PMP preparation courses. And remember to hit that subscribe button to be reminded of when the next PMP exam tips video is released. So see you in the next video. Bye for now.